Hello TikTokers, I was reading about that lorry that collided with a BMW in Hinckley in Leicestershire on Friday and where the driver of the BMW who's in his 30s is dead, his nine-year-old son is dead, there was a female passenger in there, she's in hospital but she's in stable condition and a four-year-old girl is dead as a result of it. They didn't say anything about the lorry driver, the state he's in, but apparently there wasn't much damage done to the lorry. They were appealing to witnesses to the accident, which made me think to myself, what is the point of having all these bloody cameras, spending thousands or millions of pounds on um, cameras? You're concentrating on speeding. These are the kind of things that you should be focusing on. What's the point of having cameras on, on, on the motorway when it's not picking up things like this? It's absolutely ridiculous. So now, if nobody comes forward and says what's happened, those poor, you know, there's no kind of um, penalty for the driver because there's nothing to say whether or not the BMW swerved in front of the lorry or whether the lorry driver was sleeping or the lorry driver was swerving or going off course. And I mean, sometimes I hate driving against lorries. It's, it's just so intimidating. So what I tend to do is I wait till it's really clear ahead and I just zoom past them. But I hate driving next to them because they've got uh, a part in their mirror that they have a blind spot. And if you're not in their blind spot, they can't see you. So I don't know who was at fault. And I think it's a shame that we have to rely now on people or witnesses who saw the accident as opposed to having camera footage, which should be the case. The cameras should be looking for all kinds of things, not just speeding. Speeding is the least of your, of your worries if it's not catching the perpetrators who do damage. And I'm not even saying that these people are speeding. I don't know what happened. But they should be multifaceted, surely. Anyway, what are your thoughts about this? Um, I'm kind of disappointed, you know, that nine-year-old... Hopefully it was instantaneous and he wasn't in any pain. The four-year-old, she was actually in hospital fighting for her life and she eventually died. So I can imagine the trauma her little body was going through. And the father, in his 30s, such a young age. So it's so sad. It's really sad when you hear about these premature deaths. But I always say, you know, sometimes the dead are more at peace than the living. And I'll leave you with that thought. Ciao for now.